Hello, let's see how to use virtual environments in Python on Windows 11. So it's actually quite simple. We're going to see how to do it now. First, I'm going to open my built-in terminal, the terminal that's built into Visual Studio Code. And of course, I already have Python installed and it's in the systems path. So if I run Python dash dash version, I can see which version of Python I have now. To create the virtual environment, this is what we're going to do. Python dash m vnv and now we need to specify the path we want for the new virtual environment. One convention that many developers use, of course you don't have to follow this convention, but many developers do, is to create the virtual environment inside the folder that your project is in. So in my case, my project is in this folder using ve, so I want the virtual environment to be created in this folder. And the name that many developers use for the folder in which the virtual environment will be created is .vnv. And once again, you can use any other name or any other path you want, but this is a convention and this is what I am going to follow. And now I'll hit enter and the virtual environment is being created. Great, so the virtual environment was created and now we can see that we have the .vnv folder here and it contains all kinds of files and folders. One of the folders is the scripts folder. And in the scripts folder, we have this file, activate.ps1. This is the file that we're going to use to activate our virtual environment in PowerShell, which is what opens by default when we use the built-in terminal. It's very easy to know that you are using PowerShell because every line starts with this PS at the beginning of the line, so we know that we are using PowerShell. So to activate the virtual machine, we have to specify the path to this file. So in our case, it's the current folder, and then in this current folder, .vnv, and in this folder, the scripts folder, and then in the scripts folder, activate.ps1. The thing is that if we're trying to run the command this way, like it's written here, it's not going to work. And that's because running scripts is disabled on this system. So one way is to allow scripts on your system permanently. This will work and will allow you to activate the virtual environment, but is considered a security risk. What might be a better approach is to temporarily allow scripts. So I'm going to create a new session of PowerShell, and in this new session, I am going to allow scripts to run. So to create this new session, we're going to use PowerShell, and PowerShell will, of course, create a new PowerShell session. So I write here PowerShell and then auto completion with tab. And here we have it, powershell.exe. And then to specify that we want to allow scripts to run, we're going to specify the execution policy. So dash execution policy. And in this new session, we want scripts to be unrestricted. So that's what we're going to write here, unrestricted. I now hit enter. And it seems like nothing happened, but actually we are now in a new PowerShell session. And in this new session, scripts are allowed. They are allowed to run in an unrestricted fashion. So let's try again what we tried before. And this is to activate our virtual environment. So once again, I'm going to specify the path to this file to activate.ps1. And it's in the VN folder, in the scripts subfolder. And the file we want is activate.ps1. And if I hit enter now, we can see the name of the virtual environment in green here at the beginning of the line. And it means that the virtual environment was activated. Any Python packages that will be installed now will only be available in this specific virtual environment. So as an example, let's try to use pip to install Jupyter Notebook. So I can do something like pip install notebook. And I want you to notice the files in this folder, the files in the virtual environment. You will be able to see that new files are added to this folder when we run this command. And that's because the files needed for this package, for the Jupyter Notebook package, will be installed in this folder, in the folder of the virtual environment. Okay, so it's done, and everything related to Jupyter Notebook was installed in this folder, in our virtual environment folder. If I now want to deactivate my virtual environment and return to my global environment, I'm simply going to close this session, this PowerShell session. So one way would be to click on the trash bin icon over here, and this will kill the terminal. 
Another way is simply to run the exit command. And as you can see, we're now back in the session we started with. This session, as you probably remember, doesn't allow the execution of scripts. This is what we started with, and the virtual environment is now deactivated.